Hey, 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 welcome back to part eight of my Raspberry Pi tutorial series. And today I'm gonna to quickly show you how to mount drives on your Pi, so stick around. All right, so if you wanna plug an external drive into your Pi, you're going to need to know how to mount it. And on most systems like Windows, Mac, and even some Linux systems, when you plug an external drive in, mounting is handled for you automatically. Uh, and ejecting or unmounting, however, is not. That's why you have to safely remove uh, or eject on a Mac. And we're gonna learn how to do both of those on our Raspberry Pi, so let's get started. In a Unix system like Linux, a number of devices are set up in the slash dev directory to handle things like drives, audio, terminals, etc. But today we're only concerned with drives, so let's take a look at what is currently mounted on the system. To do that, we use the df command. So type that now, df, and you'll see uh, what is currently mounted. You can see the device names on the left-hand side and the directory where they are mounted on the far right. And these are also called the mount points. So let's say that we have a USB thumb drive with some music on it that we want to access and we want to mount it on the Pi. Well, before we can plug the drive in, we're going to need to find out what the device name will be. And there are two ways to do this. The first is by monitoring our system messages. And so that when the, we do plug the drive in, we should see a system message pop up telling us that the device has just become available. And you do that using the following command. So we would type tail space dash F space slash ver slash log slash messages. And that basically says uh, for the tail command to look at the tail end of the messages file and keep it open so that if anything is added to it at the bottom, it will display those as well. Now let's plug in our thumb drive into an open USB port. And if you don't have an open port, you're going to need to either use a hub or just unplug your mouse and do without it for right now. All right, so I'm plugging in the drive and hey, cool. Now we see a message pop up that we have a new USB device available and that it is assigned to SDA1. So we're gonna need to remember that. And uh, now that we know that our thumb drive is going to be on slash dev slash SDA1, let's close this messages file using control C. And there's also another way to find this information out and uh, you should just plug the USB drive in and type sudo fdisk-l, which tells the fdisk command to list the connected drives. All right, so now that we know where the device is, we need a mount point. And there are two places that you could mount this USB drive uh, in the traditional slash MNT directory, or you can do slash media. I prefer uh, slash MNT, but it's up to you. Some people prefer slash media. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we need to make a mount point in either of these directories. So I'm going to go to slash MNT, so CD slash MNT. And then let's create a subdirectory called USB stick or whatever you want to call it. You could just call it USB. Uh, so let's MKDIR USB stick. And now a quick and dirty way to get the drive mounted here would be just to mount it as root using sudo like this. So sudo mount slash dev slash SDA1, which is what we found out earlier, and then slash mnt slash usb stick now it will mount it there but the problem with this is that uh, it will only be available to root so we would rather tell the mount command our regular pi username can have permission for this drive like this sudo mount dash t vfat dash o uid equals pi comma gid equals pi slash dev slash sda slash mnt slash usb stick all right so let's dissect this command for a moment and first up what we have is sudo which says do this as the super user root and you should be pretty familiar with this already and next you'll notice i also specified the file system type using the dash T option. And in the case of a FAT formatted uh, thumb drive, the file system type is VFAT. 
And if you know the file system, it's best to specify it. But if you don't, Mount will attempt to figure out the file system type for you if you leave that out. So you could just safely leave out the dash T VFAT if you wanted. And next we have the dash O, which stands for options. And here we'll tell uh, Mount to use the user ID PI along with the group ID PI for file permissions. And this way we won't have to use sudo anytime we want to access the drive on our regular PI user. Uh, it will be able to read and write it just fine. Next in the command is the device name that we learned about earlier by tailing the message log when we plug the drive in. And lastly is the location to mount the drive, and that's the directory that we just created under slash mount called USB stick. And you can now access the drive. So let's CD into that directory. So CD slash MNT slash USB stick. And let's see what we have in there. So let's do an LS, uh, we'll do dash LAP. And there you go, there's the files that are on my external USB thumb drive. And that's pretty easy, right? Um, well, when you're done with the drive, unmounting is even easier. So in order to unmount a drive, you must not be uh, currently accessing it. So we need to get out of this directory and uh, get out of the mount point location. So let's go back to slash mount using CD slash MNT. And now we can unmount uh, this thumb drive using U-mount. So don't type unmount, type U-mount and then slash MNT slash USB stick. Uh, that will work and you could also unmount it using the device name. So you mount slash dev slash SDA one. And now you can safely remove your USB thumb drive. And that's it. it. You can mount hard drives, card readers in pretty much the same way. But just keep in mind for hard drives, the file system type will probably be different. So for Windows drives, uh, the file system will most likely be NTFS, and for Mac drives, it will most likely be HFS+. Plus. So use dash T NTFS dash 3G for Windows drives, and dash T HFS+, plus, and spell out the word plus for Mac drives. And keep in mind also that HFS Plus support is probably not installed by default on the Pi on Raspbian. So you would need to add a few packages before Mac drives will uh, be able to mount. So to do that, you would use sudo and then apt-get install HFS Plus, HFS utils, and HFS progs, progs, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that way it will give you support on your Pi for HFS+. Plus. Uh, anyway, that's about it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. So stay tuned and subscribe for more Pi tutorials coming soon. And as always, thank you for watching.